Hello and welcome to, what day is it? It's Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. I've gone crazy, that's not a good sign. Because although some of you have been asking for this for the last few days, and I have seen it has been released, today is finally the day I get to try the new Fistimafel puzzle. It's called Kilomino, and I am nervous about this one because I suspect this may end up being the longest Sudoku solve we have ever done on Cracking the Cryptic. Why am I saying this? Well, it's because I've been looking at the comments um, on this puzzle on Logic Masters Germany, and the comments are incredible. Um, but there are some very good solvers here, suggesting it took them a very long time to get to grips with this puzzle. Um, look at this, Demono, almost exactly three hours for me. I mean, Demono is a world-class solver. Um, there was a comment here that amused me, totally normal cat. Wonderful puzzle as always. I have a feeling Simon will show this comment section in the video. Hello, Simon. Hello, TNC. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the comments are just incredible. They are just incredible, but they also suggest, oh my goodness, I've just seen this, 10 hours. 10 hours on the puzzle this could be the, this could be crazy this could be crazy anyway um perhaps i shouldn't say anything at all um rather i should just uh kick off uh but do i want to say anything there's some stuff on patreon have a look it's marvelous there's our new arrows app have a look at that it's marvelous um and do listen to the podcasts right that's all the stuff i've got to tell you about let's get to the rules of this one and uh see if we can get to grips with it here we go normal sudoku rules apply Divide the grid into different areas such that orthogonally adjacent areas contain different numbers of cells. Orthogonally adjacent areas. Okay, so this is the philomeno part of the rule set. Every cell is part of exactly one area. Digits may not repeat within an area. That's the killer part of the, of the rule set. Numbers in the top left corner of cells are clues. An area can contain no clue one clue or more than one clue. All clues in an area must be identical and indicate the sum of the digits in that area. NB, it is possible for two adjacent areas to sum up to the same total as long as their size is different. Now there is an example here. I'm, just, I'm gonna spend a few minutes looking at this, I suspect, just to try and get my head around what is going on. So this is a six by six grid. There are lots of sixes in the bottom row. Okay, so let's, let's try and distill this down. What I can see immediately when I look at this grid is look at this top region. It's of size five, it goes five, two, four, three, six. Now all of the orthogonally connected regions with this five cell region are not of size five. There's a size 4 one here, a size 4 one here, a size 1 here. This one, which is of size 5, is not orthogonally connected. It connects at this point here, um, but it doesn't connect along an edge. Right, and I see 5, 2, 4, 3, and 6 add up to 20, so that's how that's working. 16 one is a sum of 1, 4, 6, 5. Now let's have a look at the 6s along the bottom row. Right, so these two sixes are actually joined in a region. Maverick's coming to say hello. Don't know if you can hear him. Hello, Maverick. Um, but this six is not part of the six region that's next to it because I see it's a two cell region. So, wow, okay. Ah, the other thing I'm just noticing is look at this, this three clue here. This three clue is actually part of an area that goes above it. So we can't treat these clues like killer Sudoku clues because they don't have to be in the top left corner of their cage. Look, they can they can be anywhere in their cage, I think. Wow. Right. OK, I think I sort of understand what I have to do. I think the only way to really tell will be to have a go at the puzzle. Do have a go yourselves. The way to play is to click the link under the video. Now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Now, I can see, well, I can see that we've got a lot of huge cages here. Although I suppose those two can be the same cage. But let's just talk about the size of this 44 cage, for instance, because that is a fairly easy win. 
Um, um, this is because of the secret, of course. The secret being that if we look at a complete row, a complete column, or a complete box of a Sudoku, because of the rules of Sudoku, we know those things will contain the digits 1 to 9 once each. If you add up those digits, you get 45. So this cage, however it's drawn, that this 44 lives in, must be an 8-cell cage because it must be missing a digit that sums to 1. Now, you can't sum several digits to 1 in a Sudoku, so it must just be missing a 1 digit, and therefore it's an 8-cell cage. And similarly, we can do the same logic with, well, these might join together, but let's look at this one. This must be part of an 8-cell cage uh, that sums to 43, because if, if 9 cells sum to 45, there must be exactly a 2 missing from such a cage because you can't miss two ones out of a cage because there can only ever be one in a cage, one one in a cage if the cages can't contain repeated digits. Um, so I'm seeing something with these. There's a 42 here. That's also, oh, oh, hang on, hang on a minute. I was about to talk about the 45 cage, but I'm not because I'm suddenly realising that this... How does this 44 cage get out? It can't touch. Uh, yeah, okay, there's something going on here. Because the um, we know that this is an 8-cell cage. I don't have a way of showing that. I'm just going to put a little 8 into it for the moment. And we know that these are 8-cell cages. Now this has to get out. It has to reach its total of 8 eight cells without orthogonally touching those squares. Let's make those blue, for example, and we'll make this purple. Now this purple can, can never go into this square or this square, because then it will orthogonally touch an area of the same size as it. So how big can it get without doing that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it has to poke out of its, out of box one. It has to take this square for sure. If it doesn't take this square, it will bump into the sides. And I think it has to take this square for the same reason. If it doesn't take that square, yeah, it can never get to a size of eight without, without moving into a square that orthogonally touches these. So this, these three squares are forced to be part of the 44. Aha! Aha! Now I was wondering about this 42, and now I can stop wondering. I now know that this is a 7-cell cage. How do I know it's a 7-cell cage? Well, it's because of the 44. The 44, the most cells it could take in box 1 is those cells. Now that's 7 cells, so it's got to take one more. Now it can't take this one, that's touching an 8, and it can't take this one, that's touching an 8. So it has to take either this square or this square at a minimum. And in fact it can only take one of those, because if it took both of them, this 42 is blocked in. Now, given it's taking one of these, how could this 42 be an 8 cell cage? It can't be. It must be a different number, because let's say that this, this 44 came to this square, then this would have to you know, it's touching this square. So this cannot be an 8-cell region touching another 8-cell region. So the 42 must be missing two cells that sum to 3, not one cell that sums to 3, which means it's a 7-cell region. Now, what we don't know is which way it goes. Uh, but we know it's a different colour, then. It's a different colour... Um, now, I'm wondering if we, if there's a way we can tell which way, because this 42 can't come out in both directions. It can't do that, because if it does, now this 44, for its eighth cell, will be forced to take one of those two squares, which is impossible. So this 42 either sort of comes down there and that's going to force the 43 to come down the side there or the 42 comes up here 
and that's going to force um, I'm not sure what that's going to force uh, sorry the plane's going past again I wonder, I wonder if he can somehow detect that I've switched my webcam on and he immediately jumps in his plane and does flybys um, Is there anything else we can look at here? The 45 here has to be a 9 cell cage, obviously. This whole box is packed in. It's got a lot going on. Every number that's not the same number must be part of its, you know, its own region. So the 15 has to be at least a 2. I'm wondering if the 15 has to come up there, but I'm not sure it does. The 15 could perhaps go there. The seven could just be a single cell. In fact, the threes, sixes, uh, the ten can't be a single cell. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what to do here. Um, let me, sorry, let me just think about this a bit more. So if this packs into this box, it's going to do at least that. Then it's got to take one more cell It's either this one or this one. And then the 42 is going to go the other way. Let's check. Let's, let's put that one in first. Because I think I can see that more clearly in terms of what the 42 is going to have to do. The 42 would then have to go. It's a seven cell cage. So it's going to have to go at least to here, I think. One, two, three, four. No, actually, maybe that's wrong. Because it could take... Could it take those three squares? Maybe it could. That would probably block the 15. <laughs> wow, this is going to get very difficult. Um... I'm not sure. I feel like if it comes this way, this 42's got some options. It can sort of wend its way up here, wend its way down here. The 43, even if it gets trapped a little bit by the 42, looks like it can get out at the bottom. Let's try the other way. Um, now, so if it goes this way, the 42 goes up. Now the 42 can touch the 43 because these are of different sizes. This is on the presumption of that, isn't it? So now this has to reach size 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, this is better. Right, okay, this is, I think, difficult. Maybe impossible, but at least difficult. If, if this 7 comes up... How do we fulfill this eight? Let's try and minimize the amount of damage that the 44 does, that this eight does to this eight. So let's pack those in as much as we can. So now you can see that this eight has not taken any of the cells over here, which it could in theory, well, it couldn't actually now have tried to take, but this 8 now can't take that square, it can't take that square for sure. And the 7 is going to have to take some of these squares. So the 8... Yes, I see what's happening. Right. This 8 has to take those squares as an absolute minimum. That's 6 cells. So its 7th cell is definitely going to be in row 3 of the grid. It has to be. Once the seventh cell that this takes is in row three of the grid, how does this seven ever complete? It can't, it's not enough room. This seven can do that square for three, four, five, but then it runs out of space because the, the, the eight cell region is gonna to have to take some of these cells. It's gonna to have to take two of them, in fact. So that this doesn't work and things that don't work give clarity. So now, oh, hang on, let's get 
give some clarity. Those three squares, I think we force those. This is wrong. This has to come this way. This has to be in. That means this square, I'm going to turn that black. Because this square has to de keep dividing this 8 region from this 8 region. So the blue will have to come across the top. Um, I think there's some more we can do here, but I'm sort of, my eyes are drawn to this one because I can see it's easier to do. I can definitely move that there. Even if this seven took all three of those squares, it still has to go there. This eight has to reach a total of eight. It can get three above it maximum, four, five, six. So it's got to come down to there. So can we make this seven extend any further? If the seven took all three of those squares, is that gonna pen this eight in again? The answer is perhaps, let's just take a look at that. that. So this would be the seven as an absolute maximum. The eight would have to take these as a minimum. Once so that's five, six, it would have to come here and here. And the eight is tr totally and utterly trapped. This is nonsense. Good. So this seven has to take another cell and that's going to push this eight down again. I wonder if we can do that again, actually. Let's just try that again. Let's try and take two cells in box one for this seven. Is this possible? So we've now got enough room to put all of these squares. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still have to take this square as the eighth square of this eight. Oh, it can get out bobbins. Look, it can get out. This blue one can get out. Boom, 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 boom. Something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Okay. So I can't rule that out. That's a shame. Sorry. I can't rule that in, therefore. So this, let's check this eight and see what this is doing. This is definitely, it could take that square. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, I think it's possible. So it's definitely coming down into row three. And it can never take that square. Oh, um, Okay. I don't even know what this does, you know. It really... What am I learning from doing this? <laughs> uh, I'm learning that... Ah, this 10 has to be at least two cells, doesn't it? So let's put two cells if they have to go downwards. So, hmm, okay, so these 43s could never have connected to each other because this 44 could never have got out. I should have seen that immediately. Um, oh dear, now what on earth do we do next? That is the question. So we know this, the 42 is a seven cell region missing a one and a two. Ah, okay, I can put a two in there. Uh, how can I put a two in here? Well, it's because I know that the 42 cage doesn't have a one or a two in it. So as there's no ones and twos in there, I know the 43 cage doesn't have a two in it. Therefore, there's no two in there. So there is a two in one of those squares, which is sort of interesting. Um, now, what on earth do I do next? That's the question. What I really don't want this to, I really don't want this 44. 
Well, or well, maybe I do want it to come there. If this 44 comes here, that 15 gets forced. And it would probably put a lot of pressure on... Let's look at this, actually. That's not a stupid idea. If this 44 takes this square, what does that do to the world? That's my question. What does it do to the world? Does it break anything in this world? This 43 now... could take that square, it could take that square, it will have to take this square, whatever, one, two, that's it, it'll reach a count of five by doing that. It can't take that square, so it has to take that square, therefore it has to take this square, and it's still got one more square to go. So it would have to come at least to here, possibly one more depending on this square. Is that broken? That's the question I'm asking. Is that broken? That is broken. Wow. Okay, I'm going to break this. I'm going to show you how to break this. This square is broken. This square is broken, not because of what we've done with the eights, well, a bit because of that, but because of what happens to the 15. If this 15 is hemmed in by, by this eight taking this square, it has to be a two cell region. But if this is a two cell region, how big is this square? This square is a three. So it's either a one and a two in a pair, or it's a three on its own. Well, it can't be a two cell region now because it's next to a two cell region. So this has to be a one cell region. But if this is a one cell region, what's this square? This square cannot be part of um, purple or blue because it would connect them. So, it's, so it is a region on its own of one cell size and it's next to another one cell region, QED. Not possible. That is very, very hard um, indeed. But, but, but this is gorgeous. Well, not gorgeous, but it's interesting because that means this square is not purple. And if this square is not purple, it doesn't mean it's the 15, I suppose, but it does mean that the purple here is has to get all its cells before it reaches this square, which I think... One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. And you can just, you can only just do it. It's those. That's the only way of fulfilling this purple space. And interestingly now, those two squares um, will make those both green uh, because they cannot be part of their four, these 43 regions because that would connect eight cell regions with eight cell regions. So these are two single cell regions that one of which must contain a one because we know that the 44 cage does not contain a 1. Okay, how long have I had? 23 minutes. I've not even sniffed a digit in the grid. I've, I've, done, a, I've done a quarter of the puzzle, maybe. And when I say done, I mean coloured it in. I don't mean actually thought about Sudoku. Oh dear. Um... But the breeze is blowing at the window. I haven't have roasted yet. It's a really hot day here in the UK. So things are good. Now. Ah, so now my 42 can't take any cells in box one. So one, two, three, four, five. This has to come. Ah, it has to come two more. I can, I can now fix the 42 cage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's forced. So now the 43 cage, which is eight cells, must come. It's got four. So that, that's forced as well. That's got to come all the way around the corner. This six region, we don't know much about. What colour should we use? Should we use purple again? Because it can't touch this purple. Now this six region could be, ah, it could be a one, two or three cell region. Because six could be three if it's one, two, three. It could be two if it's one five or two four or it could just be a six on its own oh 
Although, it's not... I've, I've got a digit. It's not six on its own because of the twos pencil marked in the ten cage. Where does two go in this box? Not there by Sudoku. Not in green because green is a 42 cage of size seven. Hasn't got a two in it. And not in the 43, which is an eight cell cage um, and doesn't have a two in it because it's missing a two. So two goes here, which means that that is purple because two does not equal six. There's a knowledge bomb for you. Um, now. So that means this cell. If this is a two cell region, this is a four. If it's a three cell region, that's a one or a three. But we don't know whether the six comes to here. Two, look, in um, two in box, I'm starting, actually, maybe I should switch the, I might switch to different size of digits, actually, because these um, pencil marks are over, overlapping with the, the, the totals, and I'm finding it a bit hard to read them, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to switch large digits off. Have I switched that off or have I not done that? I thought I had. Um, does that work or not? I'm not sure if that's worked or not. Um, I think it has shifted that two a little bit out, out of where it was before. So two by Sudoku is in one of those three squares. Now, do we know anything about that? No, I think is the short answer. Do we know anything about this 10 cage? Is this 10 cage a two cell cage? Uh, but I suppose the 10 cage could be a four cell. Oh, it could be a four cell cage and join to that 10. Ah, and join to that 10. I hadn't thought of that. Look, could do that. Probably does do that. Because it's got a two in it. And that looks a bit, a bit Fistimafel-esque, doesn't it? A bit devious. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. Um, ah. Simple question. One in column two. Where does it go? Doesn't go in the 44 cage. Can't go in the 42 cage. Goes here. That's a one. This is not a one. Does that do anything? Oh, it does actually. Look how beautiful this is. This one is in a cage, is in the blue cage. So it doesn't go there in box four. Doesn't go there or there, in fact, in box four, because that's all in green, which is a 42 cage missing a one and a two. Wow, I've got a one, two pair in this 10 cage, which means the 10 cage is not finished because three does not equal 10. So the 10 cage comes another cell at least. It's closing in on its friend here. Um, so if the 10 cage, if the 10 cage is a, it's at least a three. If it's a three, that's a seven. If it's a four cell cage, this square is a three or a four, I suppose because it can't be a one or a two. So this square is three, four, or seven. One, two here means that square is not a one, which places one in box one. I've now got three digits in the grid. I've locked a two up here. I'm probably gonna take these eights out of there because I think otherwise I'm going to start thinking that they're real pencil marks. Where, where else have I put? That's seven, will I remember? Yeah, I've done that seven. This seven's finished, okay. So there we go. We've got real pencil marks in the grid now. And I suddenly feel a bit more positive about how this is going. Um, he says that was a silly thing to say. That was a silly thing to say. What do we do now? That is our conundrum. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Maybe we work on the 43 cage because 
now it can't take that square or this square. Ah, yeah, OK, so it's got to take that square. Um, hopefully you can see that. If it can't come to those squares, um, there's no way it can make progress if it can't also come to this square. It would be penned in and would have to be of size 4 maximum, which doesn't work. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as a minimum. It can't take this square. Um, now... Trying to see whether we can, you know, can we force it into this square, for example? If it's not in this square, if this square is not blue, can we still fulfill the 43 without breaking something? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I think is the answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But where's the eighth cell coming from if it's not there? Can't be there, no. So this square is also blue. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, these threes together—that's so mean, isn't it? It's sort of—it's sort of begging you to to join them together and make them a one-two pair. But I think it's perfectly possible for either one to be a three next to a two-cell region, which contains a one and a two. This is getting strange now, actually, because I don't actually see if oh, I suppose if that was a single seven, that would fix the 10 cage as being a four cell cage. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a bit stuck, as you can probably see. Um, If this 43 cage hugged this box, you can see how it might get difficult to fill those squares. 10 and 5 like that would be very interesting. That would force this to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 quintuple. seeing much here um, geometry maybe geometry this square where does this square go in box one that's a good question where does this square go in box one it's got to go there those two are the same digit how on earth I'll, I'll make them yeah that, that sticks out so those two have to be the same which means that whatever light gray is light gray is in one of those three cells that's the most minor deduction ever. What about... Ah, yeah. What about that square? That can't be a 1 or a 2. So the same question... Oh, hang on. Uh... Yeah, this square is actually very interesting. Sorry, I hadn't fully appreciated how interesting this square is, but it is very interesting. I was noting it could go in one of those two squares, but actually, I think it goes here. This square is bizarre. Right, let's, let's just look at this square for a moment. This square, where does it go in box four? Well, it can't go in its own box, and it's not a one or a two explicitly because it's in the 42 cage, which doesn't have a one or a two in it. So that whatever goes there is in this domino in the 43 cage. But that means it can't repeat in the 43 cage in box seven. So in box seven, it's not in the 42 cage, which takes it out of these two squares. It's not in the 43 cage, which takes it out of all of those squares. And it's not two because it's this digit, which is not a two because it's in the 42 cage. So it's that square. So those two squares are the same. Uh, if I make those light gray as well, I think I'll remember this because th this is just so, so, well, it feels so interesting. This is a three or a four, therefore. Oh, good grief. Right, right. Well, now I know that this... Oh, 
This is a seven. This is just incredible. Right. This is classic Fist of a Pell. He brings tears to your eyes because what? Yeah. Right. Let's look at the options for this 10 cage now. If it's a four cell cage, its last two digits are three and four. So this would be a three or a four for certain. And where would it get its next cell from? It's got two possibilities. One possibility is here, joining it to the other 10 cage, but this square would be a three or a four as well. You then have three cells in box five, which have to be three or four, that won't work. Its other option is to take this square as a three or a four, but that means there are three cells in column four, which are three or four, so that doesn't work. So this is not a, a four cell cage. If this is not a four cell cage, it's a three cell cage. This is a seven and I can, that means this seven is not a one cell cage. And if this is not a one cell cage, it must take, well, it must be a two cell cage because it can't, it can't take a, four, a third cell. Look, it just, it hits barriers. So this is now in a sort of, this is a cul-de-sac domino. We can, I think, make it yellow. I'll make it yellow. I can detect that that's a different color. So this, domino is not a 3-4 pair because of this square so this is either 1-6 or 2-5 look the 15 cage now suddenly has acquired new a new lease of life because it has to go vertical at least two cells we make that red I think without impinging upon this one now Does that mean anything useful? Ah, no. In fact, let's correct ourselves. This seven is a two cell cage for sure. So the 15 is not a two cell cage, otherwise it connects with the seven. So the 15 is either a three or a four or a five cell cage. Oh, good grief. Can it be a five cell cage? Maybe it can like that. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but it, we, we do know that this, I don't know how to notate this. This is either a three, four or five cell cage. I don't want to write three, four or five in here because I think it's gonna affect this pencil mark, which is correctly saying this cell is a three or a four. Um, wow, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, let me just try and see something. Do we know? I really don't know what to do. Um, this 10 cage, I've had an idea, is not a two cell cage, it's attached to a seven. It's not a three cell cage, it's attached to this one. It can't be a one cell cage because you can't just write 10 into the square. So this square is a four cell cage after all. So it was a four cell cage, but it just doesn't attach to its friend here. So this square is a one, two, three or four. But I don't think we know whether it goes that way or that way, which is very annoying. But we should make it a different color. What color can we safely make it? I think we can make it blue by the looks of things. Um, ah, here's something. Or not. I was just wondering about this six cage. This six cage, this cell sees a one and a two because there must be a one or a two in the seven cage and there's a one or a two here. So there's a virtual one, two pair in this triple. 
So this square cannot be a 1 or a 2. I'm not sure I can do anything with that. I think it can still be... I'm not sure I even know what the size of this is. You know, I'm really not sure. Oh, here's a different question. Let's think about box 5 differently. Where do 8 and 9 go in this cage? Where do 8 and 9 go in box 5? They can't go in a 6 cage or a 3 cage. And they don't seem to be able to go in any of those cages. That is an 8-9 pair. That, well, that rules out the 15 cage from being a 5-cell cage. Although I think it might still be able to be a 4-cell. Yeah, it can still be a 4-cell cage. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Um... Ah, so now the 10 cage can't go that way, so it's got to go down. That's interesting. So this square is a 1, 2, 3, or 4. Ah, now the 6 cage... Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a 6. This is a 6, right. What are the options now for this 6 cage? This 8-9 is forcing it sideways. If it's, if it's greater than one cell, it has to go sideways, at least to this square. So, let's imagine this is a part of a 3-cell cage. So it's got to contain 1, 2, and 3. That means this digit would have to be 3, because it can't be 1 or 2, because we know there's a 1-2 pair in there. This square then has no value because it needs to be a 1 or a 2 and it can't be. So it's not a 3 cell cage. If it's a 2 cell cage, one of the digits must be a 1 or a 2 because it's either 1, 5 or 2, 4. And we can't put 1 or 2 in the 2 cell cage. So this is a single cell 6. That means the 7 cage is a... Whoopsie. The 7 cage is a 2, 5 cage. So that square is not a 2. This gets its own colour. That's just a, a cage on its own. And this cage has to be a 1 or a 3. Ah, yeah, yeah. Got it. I've got it. This is a 1-cell cage. So that can't be a 3, because that would be make this 3 a 1-cell cage. So that's a 1, and it's part of a 2-cell cage, which means... Ah, I was about to say which means it must join with that, but could it go there? Oh, good grief. I think it can. I think it could go up there and that could still be a three. Uh, I don't know. Um, this square, therefore, I'll make it green. Um... And there's a 2 in one of those squares. I'm not sure if that matters. That square can't be a 1 anymore. Okay. <laughs> what does this mean? Um, I do not know. Have we... Ah, I suppose I've got a 2-5 pair there, look. So that means that the 1 and the 2 get sorted out. So now by Sudoku, there's a 1 in one of these three squares. There's a 2 in one of these three squares, probably here. And I have a distinct impression with this puzzle that I've literally got to make these numbers sweat for all they are worth. Every deduction seems to be very hard won, which is exactly what you expect from the great man's puzzles. Um, okay. What does this mean? Does anybody know? I don't know. The weird thing is, I don't even really know where to look, to be honest. 
do we, we know that this is a four cell cage, don't we? Does that, is that somehow resolvable? <laughs> do I somehow know where this goes? Um, Oh, here's an idea. This six cage now can't be a three cell cage. Good grief. This is not easy. This is a really difficult point, but it's it's gorgeous because if this was a three cell cage, where does the one in it go? It has to be here. How could this be a one in this six cage and this 10 cage still work? Impossible because this 10 cage needs to have a one in it and the one is not in that square. So the one will have to be somewhere in box eight and we can't have two ones in different areas in box eight. So this, this is simply not a one, which means this simply is a four, which means this simply is a four. This is a three because of geometry. We knew they were the same. Let's get rid of the graynesses now. Four, nope. Um, Okay, um, has that done us a favour? I'm not sure. I'm now wondering about. I'm wondering about the two and the four that must be in this ten cage. Um. So I've got to put this square would have to be. I'm wondering whether this can come straight down the grid. If this comes straight down the grid, this square would have to be a one because it sees two and four, and this would be a two four pair. And the nine cage now, one, two, four. The nine cage couldn't be a three cell cage because one, two, and four are in the 10 cage. It couldn't be a two, this is actually, look, this is interesting. If this 10 cage does come down to here, then this nine cage can't be a three cell cage because this is a one, two, four triple. And there's no options for to make nine. Nine in three cells is either one, two, six, one, three, five, or two, three, four, all of which are ruled out. It can't be a two cell cage because it'll hit this two cell cage. So this would be a nine on its own. But what happens to those two squares? They can't be in a, in a domino because that will attach to a two cell cage. And they can't be a double one. It can't be a, you know, a single cell cage and another single cell cage. That doesn't work either. So this is wrong. Um, this is not right. This does not come down to this square. So it's getting tricky to fill this at all. So it never, it, because it's only four cells large, once you rule this square out, it never comes to row nine. And it can't have more than one cell in row eight because the two and the four are ruled out. So it must have a two and a four in row seven in this domino that is forced um let me just fix that that's got to be a two or a four that must be part of the 10 cage otherwise we can't make the 10 cage work and there must be a one in one of these two squares which is part of the 10 cage but we don't know which of those cells it is i don't think we've now got Oh, we've got a four here. Let's use that. That's a four. That's a two. That's a two. That's a five. Two is in one of those three squares. Oh, I was wondering. <laughs> I'll come back to that. That uh, I was hoping it for not to have twos on both sides of this three as being a uh, possible four. Look, is in one of those squares as well. One is in one of these three squares because of the ones We've got pencil marked here. Now this nine. Right. 
Here is a thought about this 9. Is this 9 a 3 cell cage? The answer is no, because if it's a 3 cell cage, it either needs to contain a 1, which it can't, because this 1 is part of the 10 cage, or it's 2, 3, 4, which is impossible as well. So this 9 is either a 9 on its own, or it's part of a domino. And if it's a part of a domino, it doesn't go vertical, because that will attach it to this domino. So it has to go horizontal, and it's not 1, 8, it's not 2, 7, it's not 4, 5. It would have to be 3, 6. Wow! So this would be a 3, this would be a 6. 3 would then be a 2, 3, 4, triple up here. Uh, I'm not sure. Good grief. I've had 51 minutes on this puzzle so far. I mean, that feels like about five minutes. I honestly, it feels like five minutes. I'm so sorry. I, I can't go any faster than this. Um, I'm doing my best. Two, four, go into those squares by Sudoku. So, now what do we do? What do we do next? I have not got a clue. Um, my temptation is to look at this 15 cage, but that could be foolish. Just let me think about this for a second. Is there, is, there, is there something simple we're missing? We know this is a two cell cage. Maybe the 43 cage. If the 15 cage, the 15 cage is at least three cells. So that is going to impinge upon one of these two squares at least which otherwise would have been available to the 43 cage. So the 43 cage now can occupy a maximum of one, two, three, four. It can take one of these white squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, so it has to go here. This can't be a two because that's in the 43 cage and the 43 cage by definition has no two in it. Which is actually almost utterly beautiful when you think about where two goes in row three. Two can't go in these squares because these are in the 44 cage. Two, which has already got a two in one of those two squares. It can't go here because of this two. It does seem to be able to go here. It can't go in the, in the blue square. So two in row three is in one of two places. Wow. I don't think I know which, which which of those is correct though um, so what we should do probably can we rule anything in or out of this 15 cage so if the 15 cage is a four cell cage then if this is 9, it would need 1, 2, and 3 above it, which is problematic, perhaps. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work. Oh, actually. Hang on. Hang on, there is something... There is something suspicious about this. Because... If this is 8 and the 15 cage is a four cell cage, you have to put one, two, and four up here somewhere. And if this is nine, you've got to put one, two, and three up there. And you can see two, three, and four appear in column five already. So what we cannot do is put two, three, and four in, these two, in this domino. 
which means if you want to put a 2 and a 3 or a 2 and a 4 in the 15 cage in box 2, you have to put them in those two squares. And you can't do that because they, these two squares cannot be joined together in a region by adding one of these two squares in. You'd have to use both of these squares, not just one of them. You could pick this one, and that'll join you to that one, but it won't join you to this one. And you could pick this one, which will join you to that one, but it won't join you to that one, or that one. So there is no way that this is a four cell cage. This is a three cell cage, which means it takes this digit for certain in box two and one more digit. So it never takes that digit. That is a separate region. And this is a three cell cage. not sure uh, okay so if this is a nine this square can't be two or four so this has to be one or five it can't be one that has to be five and that can't be one so this would have to be the one so this would be a one five pair going vertical a one five pair going vertical the question that that's just making me ask is if that's true, where do I put a one in this 43 cage? Where do you, if this is a vertical one five, where do you put one in that 43 cage? The answer is nowhere. If that's a red one, the 43 cage None of these, obviously no square now in box two could be the one that we need. This can't be a one, it sees this red one. These can't be ones, it sees this green one. There's no possibility of ones over here. So we would have, there's no possibility in fact of ones here. So that this 43 cage would have to get down there, which must be impossible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. it becomes a, an astronomically large cage. That is absolutely beautiful. So now, so this is not, this is not one, this, well, if it's five, it's got to be five joining to an eight here. I think we've just proved this can't be nine. If this is nine, this had to be one five, that's an eight. So it's an eight and we need to put a domino in here that adds to seven. So this, this square can't be three or four. So we're looking at either two five, which reinstates the five again, and the five, oh, it would have to be five two in that direction. Or we're looking at six one, which is going to be the same problem again. <laughs> You've still got one here and you have to put one in the purple and in the blue and you still can't do it. So this is not six one. This is five, two, and because you can't put the two vertical, we now know this is a two and it's a red two, which means this green, which needs a two, can't get it from here and it must get it from here, I think. Sorry, that's gonna be a green two. Um, that means that's not a two. I'm not sure if that's as much as we can get from that, but that still feels like it's a massive amount of progress. So now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, okay. Um, okay. What does that mean? That's the next challenge for us to work out. I haven't got a clue. I have not got a clue. Um, so, what on earth do we look at next? Have we learnt anything profound that we can use about the rest of the grid now? 
this a nine that right that eight nine can't join to an eight because it'll become bigger than eight in the process of doing that so this square let's make it yellow can't be a one cell region because it's attached to a one cell region above it so this square takes this square this is a little region of its of its own um, although actually this could join to the 45 I suppose and could be an enormous region of its own this 8 well we know it's not a size 4 region because the size because the 10 is a size 4 but we knew that anyway Ah uh, dear, this is this is becoming very challenging now. I'm not sure. I need to put a four in the forty-three cage. It's not there. It's not here. So there's a four in one of those squares. Four in one of these squares. Um, <laughs> what now? I don't know. Do we know? Maybe I can do more with this 43. Uh, so the 43, I can pack it in, I think, to these eight cells here, like that. Is there anything wrong with that arrangement? Because if that arrangement's wrong, you have to start coming down here. Yeah, okay. I can disprove that arrangement specifically because if this is the true arrangement of the 43, where does this domino go in box two? Have a look at that. This domino here needs to live in box two somewhere, but cannot repeat within the 43 region. So you can see there's actually only one cell that, it, that these two digits could possibly go into, and that's this one. So that doesn't work. So this is not the shape of the 43. Therefore, the 43 must, must take another cell down here, I suppose. So that's become blue. Now, oh, in fact, look, that's that's been forced ever since I got this this two, so that's blue. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, right. So this is the end of the forty-three region because one of these two squares must connect this domino to the rest of it. So now an interesting question is where five goes in the forty-three. Oh, Poppins. <laughs> I was going to say an interesting question is where 5 goes in the 43 region, but it actually does have to. Oh, it has two places, but they do see that square. Right, well, that is a little bit interesting. The 5 in the 43 region has to be in one of these two squares because it can't repeat in box 2 and it can't go there. So it's in one of those two, but these two, whichever one of these is true, sees this square. So this little square, which up until that point could have been a five sitting on its own, is now, at, well, it's now a two cell region. It's now a two cell region because a five can't be a three cell region. I'm immediately looking at that and thinking that's broken. Because if this is a two cell five region, this 10 region now could go there and be a two cell region, but then it would connect to a five that was a two cell region. So this five goes here, and this is a two cell region. This 10. Yeah, this is all getting difficult up here now. This 10 can't be a two cell region anymore. Because if it is a two cell region, where shall we move it to? It clearly can't come that way because it connects to the five, which is a two cell region. So it would have to come this way like this. But now this region is broken because this can't be a two cell region. It can't be two one cell regions next to each other. So the 10 is not a two cell region, which means it's either a three or a four cell region. And it's not a four cell region 
because if it was a four cell region, that would mean that those six cells were summing up to 15. And that feels impossible to me, but is that true? Um, surely that's impossible. I'm just wondering actually, because you could have a repeated digit in the fives, maybe that isn't impossible. Anyway, this is definitely at least a three cell region. If it's at least a three cell region, it definitely takes those two squares and at least one more. Uh, this is bugging me now. No, hang on. Did I say 16 or 15? I can't even remember what I said. If these, if these squares, no, this is impossible. Sorry. I think I said 16. I don't know where I got 16 from, but if this is a four cell region, those four squares plus these two squares would have to add up to 15. And that, that is definitely impossible because the minimum I can make those squares is 15 just because they're all in the same box of the Sudoku. So this would have to be a zero, which is impossible. So this is a three cell region. Um, and it's either taking this square or that square. But I don't know if I know which one of those is true. If it took this one, these would be a one, two, three, four, five quintuple. And this would have to be part of a two cell region. But there's nothing wrong with, I don't think there's anything wrong with that because it would be touching a three cell region and an eight cell or two eight cell regions, but that's okay. If on the other hand, Oh, I think this still has optionality. Oh dear, sorry, I'm getting confused. Right. Um, let's put in the options for the five cage. That's got to be one, two, three, and four. Can we eliminate anything from there? The 14 cage, actually, now, maybe that's the place to look. That's got to be at least two cells, so it's got to come down here. No, and it can't be two cells because it's touching a five, so it's got to be at least three cells. So the 14 comes down to here. I don't know. If the, f the 14 can't, the 14 is either a three cell or a four cell cage. It can't be a five cell cage because five cells would add up to 15 minimum. If it's a four cell cage. Ah, if it's a four cell cage, it has to contain a one. How do I know that it has to contain a one? Well, because it cannot contain a two. In fact, I can take the twos out of those squares. Um, the reason it can't contain a two is there's a two here and a two here and the 14 cage can never get to here. So there's no two in the 14. So if it's a four cell cage, there has to be a one, and that one would have to be this digit because it can't get to any other position that can be a one. Which means what? If this was a one and then you can't put a two in here, So you could go one, three, four, six. Does there have to be a three in there as well? Do you end up with a one, two, three, four virtual quadruple in the column? Maybe, but that's only if this is a four cell region which it might not be. It might only be three cells. Ah, sorry. Sorry, I think I'm getting sidetracked here. Or at least I'm looking for very difficult points when hopefully there's something a bit more straightforward. Fives are in one of those cells. This can't be a two because it sees a two up there.
That's an interesting question. The 45 cage, which I've not looked at at all, has got to have a 2 in it. Where does it... I don't know, this is absolutely... This is absolutely deviant. Where is the where is the two in the forty five cage? I think it's there. I think that's the only cell it can be, because the other twos are already paired up. They have already found their partners, their husbands and wives. Whereas this, yeah, the only place this can get a two from is box nine. And it therefore, if the 2 was in the 8 cage, it wouldn't be available to the 45. So this is a 2, and these squares are connected via the power of 2-ness. So that's not a 2 anymore, which means that's not a 3. So 2 is now in one of those two squares. This... Well, this is obviously not the same color as the 45, so let's make that a different color. It looks like we can get away with green for that. Now this two has to connect to here, so it's got to go up. No, I was wondering about whether I could do something similar with fours, but I don't think I can. I think the 4 in this box could be here, and that we haven't even placed a 4 in this box. So the 4 in this box might be available to this 45 as well. Um, okay. That's become 1, 3 or 4 now. Does that affect the... F oh, does that affect the ability of this to be a 4 cell? Ah, that goes all the way down here then to reach the 1. That might be problematic. Hang on a sec. If it comes all the way down here, so this is a one. These have to add up to, ah, there's no, no, this is impossible. This is absolutely impossible. These, so these can't be a three, four pair now in the 14 cage. So the best I can put in is three, five, Three, five, and six would be the minimum digits you could put in there, and that adds up to 15. Wow, wow, okay. So the 14 cage is not a four cell cage. It never reaches this square. In fact, this is its limit. It reaches these three squares. And it doesn't have a one or a two in it. So it must have a three. Ah, it must have a three in it. It must have a 3 in it, because if it doesn't have a 3 in it, 4, 5, and 6 adds up to 15, which is too many. So it has got a 3 in it. If it's got a 3 in it, that squares a... F oh, no, hang on. Hang on. I think I deleted the 1, because I moved the 1 in here. I don't think... Ah, oh, hang on. I'm going to have to double-check this now. Sorry. I'm sorry. What were the options for this square originally? One, two, three, and four. It's not two, but I don't think I ruled a one out from this. I think the one I ruled out because of that. Ah, I didn't. It's still better. It's still not bad. There's a three in here, so there's no three here. So this is a one, four, which means this is a one, four. Which means that's a two, actually. That's not too bad. And I've got a one, four pet, which seems to place a... F it does place a four in box two, which places a four in box one. Um, which might do something with ones nearly. No, okay. Um, aha, this is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous how good the logic is at one hour, 15 minutes into a puzzle. Is this 3 cell 10 cage joining to this 4 now? The answer is no, because this would have to be a 4. So the, so this 10 cage is there. These two squares have to be 3 and 5 to make it work. This is not 5 anymore. We have to put 5 in the 43 cage. It has to go here. 
Oh. Oh no, maybe. That's a five in one of those squares. This is an eight, that's a nine. Goodness me, I've only just noticed that. You've all been shouting at me about that. Hopefully you'll give me a little bit of a break today because this is not perhaps the easiest puzzle you've ever seen in your lives. Um, it's certainly not the easiest puzzle I've ever seen in my life. The four here, do we need a four in, in the 43 cage? We do, there has to be one. Yes, lovely. The 43 cage needs a four, it has to be that. So that square is not a four. This square must join its friend here. So this becomes uh, a very dark shade of, let's do it that way. Or maybe I can get away with a different color. Actually, I'll use yellow. These, these are a domino. This is an H cell cage, that's lovely. Okay. And we can pause for breath and have a little think to ourselves about what's going on. We can probably do better on this 14 cage. We know it's got a three in it, so it's got two more cells that sum to 11 that are not two nine or three eight. So this is either three four seven or three five six, which is a lot of options actually. That can't be four or five. This one can't be five. Ah, this, these two can't be five. That can't be four. That can't be six. Oh, nearly. Oh, I see. You can't actually put a five in it anywhere. So it's not three, five, six. It's three, four, seven. So there's no six in it. Which means this square has become out of nowhere a four which means that's a four and that's a one, deleting ones from those two squares. This is no longer. Oh, I was about to think I've broken it, but I haven't broken it. I was just worried about where four goes in the 45. This is now a four by Sudoku, and this is necessary for the 45, which must contain one of each digit. So that goes there and becomes red. There's a three, seven, pair here so that gives me the three and the five at the top there's a five in one of those two squares this three is forcing this to be the seven this to be the three there's a three now in one of those three squares these squares are six eight and nine um, Five look by Sudoku is in one of those two cells. It looks or feels at least like we might be able to do some basic Sudoku here. I've got, oh yeah, look, I've got to put a three in the 43 cage. It's got to go there. So these two squares are known to be a one seven pair. And there's a seven here. Let me just double check that. Yes, I've got to put seven in this cage somewhere, so it's going to have to be there. So this is seven, this is one, this is one, and this one we know was part of a ten cage, so that turns blue. These squares are now six, eight, and nine, which has given us a triple here, which means this square must be something different. A three, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Six, eight, nine, triple here. So this is a five, seven combination. And these squares must be our old friends 6, 8, and 9. And we know the, these two are the same digit, don't we, from the work we did earlier. But unfortunately, that is not useful because we don't know anything about those squares. We know that one's not an 8. So in this column, we've not placed 6 and 9. So that's a 6 or a 9. Now, what were the options for this 9? Oh, it was 3, 6, wasn't it? Ah, you rotten thing. You rotten thing. So that could still be a two cell domino. Or it could be a nine on its, uh, oh, if this isn't, no, 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 this is, oh, I love it. This cannot be a nine on its own. Because if it's a nine on its own, what's that square? It's not part of any region. It would have to be a, a nine on it, well, a, a digit on its own, attached to another digit on its own. 
And this puzzle is a friendly puzzle. It doesn't like singletons being next to each other and not joining up. So this cannot be a singleton. It must be a doubleton, which means it's a 3, 6, which means that square is a 9. Now this square is not 9 because it's the mirror of that one. This 9 means that's not a 9. Um, in fact, now we ask the question, that's got to be a 9 by the power of Sudoku. That We must join these up and make them yellow because that feels the right colour. We'll make this a orange, that feels the right colour for that cell. And we will just pause for breath now and have a little think to ourselves about what this all means. This square is not, not a 2 or a 3 because of this. So this this 8 might be the place we look next. Um, I'm just sorry, I'm just trying to pick off if there's any easy wins from a Sudoku perspective. We've got 5s, 7s and 8s into those squares. So this, this really needs its own colour, doesn't it? Let's make that purple. It looks probably like it's going to be a digit on its own. If it's if it's a three cell cage, the only way it could be a three cell cage is to be five one two, and that's impossible because those two can't have a two in them. So five is simply not. Oh no, five could go with three. No, five can't go with three because of the three there. There is no oopsie. There's no five in this cell. So this is either. 7, 1 with a 1 here, which looks possible, or it's an 8 on its own. Um, this column needs 6s, 8s and 9s in it. That can't be 9. These three squares are the same. Oh, look at this row. We've actually done most of it. We need 6s, 7s and 9s. Which admittedly doesn't look terribly useful. Um, ah, what do we do next? Where do we reach for the next digit? I don't know. I actually am one one minute twenty three one hour twenty three minutes into this. I don't feel. It's been abjectly awful as a solve. I really don't. It's not easy, this. Seven and nine have to go in those squares by Sudoku. Now that means we get a handle on these two squares, which have to be three and eight. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Look, three and eight, and there's no way to know which. Oh, you rotten thing. What about these squares now then? These have to be 1, 6 and 8. Do we know anything about those? I'm not sure. These two squares now, we can say with certainty, I think have to be a 4, 5 pair. Ah, and that's given us at least something. That has to be the 4 by the looks of things. Yeah, okay. So this is 4, this is 5. That gives us a 5 and a 7. Thank you. We'll take that. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what that does. Um, does it do anything useful? I really don't know. Five has to be in one of those cells. This column needs threes, sixes, eights, and nines. The problem with this square is I think it can be any of those things. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six is maybe the interesting digit in this column. Six has to be in one of those three positions. Is 
Is there something we can say about that? If there is, it's not jumping out at me, I have to say. Um, okay. So, <laughs> where shall we look next? Oh, I've just seen this is in a seven region. Ah, sorry, I hadn't appreciated that. So that's ne that needs to be in a color of its own. So let's maybe have a look now at this eight. I feel like I've procrastinated about this for long enough. Is this eight? Oh, hang on. I'm now thinking about how to connect this to this. Does it have to come through there or can it come across the top in an enormous region like that? That is one, two, three, four. no. Ah, okay, sorry. I don't think this is right. This is important because I think it's going to give me this digit because let's think about how the 45 cage connects. Let's try and build a 45 cage that doesn't take this square. Well, you can see to connect this bit, it's going to have to come up here and it's going to have to turn left. And now it's going to have to get down here again. And at the moment it's used up uh, one, two, three, it's used up seven cells. It cannot take this square. Because if it takes this square, this square we know is joined to the nine. So the moment it takes this square, it has to take that square. That's nine cells. And it can't take this one to connect. So this square must be red. And if this square is red, we have locked an eight into this cell. Which means that's an eight. Don't know if that does anything, but it might do. Um, that's not an eight anymore. Do we know, do we know something useful about eights in here? Not sure we do. These have to be fives, sevens and nines. This is not a five. So we know that one of these, ah, that's an interesting point. We know one of those is a nine in row nine. And if one of these is a nine, that square can't be a nine. Yep, you're right, that does nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh, please, please give me something more. It's going to be some madness, like, you know, asking what digit this oh there's a nine here actually that's a six that's a nine that's not a nine which we could have got because we knew one there was a nine in one of these uh i was just going to say it's going to be some madness like working out what digit that it needs to be in the 45 that we haven't put into it yet um Okay, I feel like I'm doing this incredibly slowly, but hopefully you'll be forgiving. I'm just, I'm trying two things. I'm trying not to make a mistake and to be uber logical. And I feel like I'm getting slower and slower. Five, seven, eight here. Three, seven, eight here. Oh, these can't be eights. Oh, so these are really limited. Okay, that might be important. In fact, if I could lock, if I knew what this was, maybe this is the critical digit. So if this is coming this way, let's just look at this. If that's seven one, that's seven one. What is that doing to the world? This region here. Oh. This would have to be a one six pair. This would have to be a six. This would have to be a one. I'm not seeing what's wrong with that. Oh no, this can't be a one or a six. Right, okay. I think we can rule out seven one. Let's check this. So if this is seven one, this square can't be a one cell cage. It can't be a three cell cage because this square cannot be one, two or four. And if it's a two cell cage, let's think about what the options are for it. It can't be one six because one six is ruled out. 
2, 5 is impossible because it, although this square looks like it, no, this square in fact can't be 2 or 5. And 3, 4 is impossible because although this square can be a 3, it cannot get a 4 from anywhere. So this is not 1, 7. And that, I hope, will be useful because that means that square must be an 8, which means that is not an 8. Oh, God, I couldn't see the 8 there for some reason. I was about to say that I'd broken the puzzle again. This is absolutely terrifying. So that's now an 8. That's an 8. That's a 3. That means this is not an 8. Which means what? This is not an 8. What do we need to put in this 42 cage? We know it's not got 1 or 2 two in it it needs a th ah yes it needs a three in it where does it get its three from i think it can only be this square i think that means that's not a three which seems to suggest this is a three over on this side of the grid which doesn't seem to do anything um so this has to be six seven or this is a six or a seven because it's not a nine Beautiful. Right. Another good question. Where does the 7 go in the 42 region? It's got to be in one of those two squares. Now that means that square is a 9. Which means that's not a 9. Which means this is not a 9. That gives us a 6-7 pair here, which means this is a 9. <laughs> this is not a 9. I've got a 6-8 pair here, which means this is a 9. Which means this is a 5, 6, or a 7. It's still not giving up the ghost. This is a 6, 7 pair. That gives me an 8 here. That gives a 6 here. That's an 8 now by the power of we know those are the same. That's a 6. That's an 8. I've got a 6, 9 pair there. I've got a 7, 9 pair here. I must be close to cracking this puzzle now. Um... be close to cracking the puzzle one thing i was wondering about was how i dealt with the oh how i dealt with this domino i was about to say but now now it's explicitly not possible that these are part of the 45 region because there would be three cells in the 45 region which were fives and sevens and this can't be right this is very interesting this can't be a two cell domino because it would connect to a two cell domino. And it can't be two one cell dominoes, so one of these squares must connect to the 45 because it can't connect to anything else because they are all replete in their goodness, which means that, yeah, this is lovely. This square cannot be part of the 45 because if it is, this square is left on its own next to another singleton and we'd have two singletons together and they couldn't join up and that would break the rules. So this square is red. This square is not red. It is something else. We will make it green. So we now have got a 5-7 pair in the 45. Ah... <laughs> Um, do we know what this is? I don't know. I do not know if I know. I probably do know what this is. I just haven't worked. I haven't been able to work it out. What do I need? I need one, six, sevens, and nines into this square. So this is a one or a seven. Oh, this was probably the simple way of doing this, wasn't it? One, six, seven, or nine. Yeah, okay. So once we know this is one or seven, we can't be... Oh, I was about to say it can't be one, but could it be one and join up with that six there? Could that be a one six pair? Oh yeah, because I ruled that out before when I said this was seven one and the one removed the possibility of this being a one. Oh no. Oh no, sorry. Okay. So that's one five or seven. Oh, lordy. What digit have we not put in this cage? That's going to be the sensible thing to ask. This has not got a 9 in it. Where does it get its 9 from? 
Oh, it could get it from there. Oh, no! No! I don't believe it. It needs an 8. Alright, let's ask a different question. It needs an 8. Where does it get its 8 from? The 8 must come from there, mustn't it? That's the only 8 it can get to. So this is... Oh, I've messed up the colours here. I have to change the colour of that one. Um, because I think this has just become red. And if this is red, surely it has to take this 9. 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, it can't take this and this at the same time. So it has to go through here. So now we've got this up to a count of 8. We need one more digit, which is a 1. Oh, no. Oh, this is gorgeous. Good grief. Right. The red needs a 1. And it, it can get it in two ways. It can get a 1 from here or a 1 from here. And that tells us that one of these squares is a 1. And if one of these two squares is a 1, what does that tell us about those digits? They cannot be 1. Because they will see the 1 that's in one of those two squares. So this square has to be a 6, which makes this a 1, which makes this a 7, and that square a 5, this a 7, this a 5, this a 7, this a 6, this a 7, this a 6, 6, 6, that a 5, please let this be okay. Oh, I don't believe it. They've both become ones now. So I still don't know which one of these is correct. Um, seven, nine, nine, six. And I've filled in the Sudoku, but I still don't haven't done the puzzle. <laughs> um, I filled in the, the Sudoku, but I haven't done the puzzle. So what? Which of these ones is correct? This 7 is correct. This 8 is correct. Oh, I see. Oh, I was about to say we can't leave the 1 on its own because it will connect to another 1. But actually, if the, if the 9, 6 takes this 1, then it's part of a 3-cell region. So I think what we're going to have to do here is somehow work out... This is mad. This is absolutely mad. I'm going to have to somehow allocate these remaining white squares such that I don't break any of the Philomeno type constraints. So I've got... Because I can see all sorts of things going on here that are not helpful. Um, I'm not sure whether I can do this just by plain old guessing. I don't like doing that. Um... Got to be very, very careful about this. I think it would be, it would be quite easy. Like I think I can see the answer, but I'm not, I'm not sure enough. It's the only answer. If this is a one, and this was yellow, and that was a domino, is that wrong? That's the question, and. This is a three cell region. I don't think it's connected to another three cell region. This is a two cell region. It's not connected to another two cell region that I can see. I have a feeling this is correct, but what that doesn't mean is that it's satisfying to answer the problem that way because I haven't proved it's unique. So let's try the alternative and prove this doesn't work. So if this was the one, we now know this has to be yellow because it can't be a single cell. Once we get here, it gets very intricate because this can't take two more cells because then it would have a repeated nine in its region. And it can't take one more cell because if it took one more cell, it would be of size four and would be connected to this. So this has to stay the same, which means this has to be a domino and that connects to that and that's not correct. So that, I'm very comfortable this is correct. But what I haven't done is disambiguated the other ways we could fill these three squares. I just could sort of see how it was gonna work. So let's just quickly do that so that we're, we think it's right. Um, 
So this is now, well, what we can rule out, this is definitely not a three cell region because that would connect to that three cell region. I don't even know what the best way of doing this is. This can't be, maybe, if this is a two cell region, the puzzle is definitely broken. I think we can see that because this can't be a three cell region and if we divide it into a one and a two cell region, one of those two cell regions will touch this two cell region, which is broken. So this needs to grow. The question is, how does it grow? It cannot grow into a five cell region because it will repeat the nine. It cannot grow into a four cell region because that will complete, that will connect to here. So this is growing into a three cell region. And the options are here, which I think is correct, or here. Now, if it grows, it takes that one. This is wrong because it's connecting a two to a two. Wow. Wow. Even at the final analysis, that puzzle is incredibly beautiful and clever and correct. Oi, one minute, one hour, 41 minutes. That's the longest Sudoku solve ever on the channel. Um, I'm sorry it took me so long, uh, over a hundred minutes of logic, but I think I've solved it logically and it's just a wonder. I mean, how many little tiny pieces of beauty did we just experience? And I know it's a long video, but you'll just forgive me if I just spend a minute thinking about what we've just done. This idea at the start with penning in the 44s with the 43s and the 42 was beautiful. But there was so much more than that. There was there was the trickery. That I remember they got that square was the same as that square or something. That was amazing. And that was really necessary because it pinched this 10 cage. <laughs> there was stuff going on with the 15 cage at one point. There was stuff where we had to get... I can't even remember what digit it was. There, well, there was, there was some lovely logic where 5 pointed at this square and forced this to be a 2 cell region. I mean, there was there were probably 50 different little beautiful deductions in that puzzle. I mean, it's just amazing. Amazing. Imagine trying to make that. Imagine trying to make it that tight. That, And this is what Mark says about Fistemafel's puzzles. Basically, Fistemafel invents a puzzle and then he makes the best puzzle of that form that there ever was or ever will be. And then he moves on to something else. And it's a testament to the quality of his um, craftsmanship. It really is. I'm lost for words. Um, thank you so much if you've stayed with me to the end of this video. I pray I don't have a power cut now. And uh, yeah, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.